at City, Raheem Sterling has become something of a, a pioneer for black players this season. Today was no different. He's been talking ahead of City's Champions League dates with Spurs and he was asked in his press conference whether black players should walk off the pitch if they're racially abused. This is what he had to say. I think at the end of the day, um, to try and go out and win the game, if it's going on at the moment, I think that will hurt them even more. They're only trying to get you down, you know, and if you do walk off the pitch as a, as a group, that kind of makes them win. So, you know, to either score a goal or win, to win the match, I think that's even a better feeling that, that beats them. Gary, what's your take on this? Well, obviously there's been a huge flare-up in the last week, two weeks of incidents that have sort of reoccurred and they probably some would say we've never gone away. I mean, it actually it was mentioned last week in the press about the England game in the Bernabeu, I think it was 2004. I think I played, you were on the bench where Ashley Cole and uh, Sean Wright Phillips were abused during that game. And it's interesting when you look back at your career and how you reacted as an individual. And in that game, I don't know if you remember, Emlyn Hughes um, had passed away, I think, the week before. And we all wore black armbands. If you remember, it was the night where Wayne Rooney came off the pitch and threw the black armband onto the pitch. And I remember after the game, dealing specifically with that. I remember specifically dealing with... You know, looking after Wayne Rooney, thinking about the fact that, you know, he'd made a mistake, obviously. He'd, he'd in some ways disrespected Emily Hughes, even though he'd never meant to do that. He was just disappointed with coming off. And a lot of the headlines the day after were about Wayne Rooney. They weren't about the sort of, you know, the racial abuse of two of the England players, which obviously was obvious in the Bernabeu, you know, capital of Spain, Madrid, the biggest stadium, one of the most famous stadiums in the world. But after the game, I, I, in the dressing room, I never sort of sat there as a player and went over to the you know, players who'd been abused. I never broke my stride during the game and sort of stopped thinking about, you know, I remember Fernando Torres that night being in my channel. I remember all those things. But we don't react during games. We've never reacted to it. How do you feel about it. that now? I, I think, to be fair, when I, think, when I look at it now, I mean, I grew up in Lancashire in the sort of 70s and 80s where using racist language was normal. And you was probably the same in Merseyside as well. And I look back now and think, it's so wrong, but it was, that, was what, that was it, that was what was there. But if you said to me in the sort of 1970s and 80s that, you know, that, that those lads that were being racially abused would actually not get the same opportunities or the same chances in life, I'd say, no, that's ridiculous, that's wrong. It was normal to hear the language, but it wasn't actually... Uh, you know, I never thought of it, of the sort of wider impact of it. It's a lack of education. And even as a player during my years, you know, all the statements that I've seen associations put out over the years, like the FA, you know, we are bore every time for discrimination and racism. It's the same statement every single time. It just gets wheeled out every time. No one's actually worked out in FIFA, UEFA, the FA, individual clubs, how to actually punish racism in, a, in what would be a manner that is right. Raheem says there today... Um, that he thinks it's wrong to walk off the pitch, but you could hear a black player speak last week and say that it's right to walk off the pitch. So I think from my point of view, I think I look back now and think that I just sort of let moments in my career pass me by and just carried on and looked away and, you know, think that's what happened. I can't change what happened. Um, and I don't know, really. I, I, you know, I think until somebody gets a grip of this issue and there is a consensus of what the right punishment is, what the right action is of a player on the pitch, what the right action is of the supporters who see somebody being racist, what the right action is of a manager who sees, you know, witnesses this and sees his team on the pitch and players of his team being racially abused. I, I don't know. And, and we're sat here tonight as, you know, three white, 40-odd-year-old blokes. I'm very aware of that. And the fact of the matter is, you know, we had this discussion probably a few months ago and there was a suggestion that we weren't the right people to discuss this issue. Well, we can either discuss this issue tonight or we can ignore it. I said this uh, three months ago, three, three, four, five, six, seven years I've been coming on Monday Night Football and there have been times where we thought it was right to stay clear of this issue. But I don't think we can anymore. Even as sort of what would be 44-year-old sort of white blokes sat here, you know, without black representation, we have to discuss it because at the end of the day, unless we in these positions as the media suggests that no, it's completely wrong. That there has to be a summit of some kind between FIFA, UEFA, the clubs, the associations, the PFA, FIFA Pro, to say now, what is the, what is the punishment that is acceptable 
and tolerable to everybody in, in football that sends the message out that it's no longer acceptable. Because I saw Danny Rose's quote last week about the fact that you know, countries get fined what he would spend on a night out in London. He's absolutely right. Some of the fines, like £6,000 for, race, for, you know, for race, racism in a stadium, it's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. But then, is it £600,000? Is it £6 million? Is it emptying the stadiums? You know, is it players walking off the pitch? What is it? Is it bans for countries from tournaments? What actually is the punishment that's acceptable so that we actually start to deal with it? There's far more education now. We are far more learned than we were 25 years ago growing up in the, in the, in the counties and places where we did. But from a point of view of now, what I would say is that there has to be action now and real action because it's too much.